if you can cut the time in half, for example, of doing certain things or finding all those things such as menus that you use over and over and over by having them on these shelves right here, again, you're going to cut your time in half and being twice as fast is going to make you more valuable in your production, okay? The easiest way to create a shortcut for a shelf, right? We would go to whatever that item is. So for example, if I go to Windows, and let's say that I want to use the Hypershade to look at my textures or to edit my textures and my shaders, I would have to go to Windows, Rendering Editors, and there is a Hypershade. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the Shift and the Control key. I'm going to click on the Hypershade menu. As soon as I do that, notice that I get an icon right here on my Polygon shelf, right? If I let go of the Shift and the Control, Here's my icon. I know is the hypershade because when I move my mouse on top of it, it's going to tell me the description of the hypershade. Now, I can get rid of this icon by right mouse button and go to delete. Okay. I can edit its pop up ability. I can edit the actual shortcut or I can open it. All right. This is one way that we can alter this icon right here and its contents and what it does. Or we can go to the far left of our shelves. And on the very bottom, you will see a button that looks like a gear, all right? So if I click on it, I get this menu right here. I can turn on and off the visibility of the tabs. I can open the shell editor. I can navigate between shelves. I can create a new shelf. I can delete a shelf and I can load a shelf. And also every time you guys add a shortcut to your shelves or you delete a shortcut or you move the icons around, we always have to save the shelves. So we're going to go to the settings for the shelves. And at the very bottom, all you're going to do is save all shelves. This way, the next time you open Maya, your shelves will be in the order and will contain the items that you added on or modified around. Okay. So again, let's modify that hypershade icon. We're going to go to our shelf editor. Okay. And the shelf editor is very simple. On one side you have your shelves and on the other side you have the shelf content. Okay, so if I pick on my polygons shelf by selecting it, you will notice that these are all the contents for that specific shelf. And as you can see, the hypershade is right here. I can click on it and I can do a lot of things to this icon. Okay, I can add a explanation. The tooltip will tell you what that icon is. So if I go hyper shade I think there's an extra s in there I'm gonna get rid of it so now when I save it look what happens when I move my mouse on top of that icon excellent remember before it only said display and edit connections in shading networks I added hypershade at the very beginning and now I know exactly what that is let's go back to the shelf editor and here I can move around if I have one selected I can use this up and down arrows to move them around I can add a new item and I can delete. Same thing for the shelf side, okay? I can move my shelves order based on these two icons right here, the up and down. I can create a new shelf and I can delete new shelf. I can also give it a icon label, right? I can go H, P, and S for hypershade. Notice that it created the icon label name right here. Okay, we may not want that. So I'm going to go back to the shelf editor and I'm going to find the hypershade. And I'm going to delete this, right? It always gives you a preview right here. So no matter what you do right here, the preview will update itself. We can also add custom icons. All we need to do is create a PNG and go to this folder and we can load up our shortcut and we can make our icon label color a different color we had white before. We can change the color of the background. We can also change the transparency and we can have a custom background for our icon. So this is pretty much how you create custom UIs by saving any menu or any tool into your shelves using shift and control and clicking on that icon so it goes into the shelf. And then remember, always save your shelves.